We've made it to Mount Rushmore, and it's snowing on and off, so it's quite cold up here. We're the Huffman family, and we believe that an ordinary life is truly extraordinary. And after living almost 17 years in the military, we decided it's time to see what this country truly has to offer. So we're making our way from South Florida Georgia Line all the way to Washington State. We're going to stay at some really unique stays and of course lots and lots of food. After our stay at the Hobbit House, it was time to hit the open road and travel through South Dakota. Okay, so there's water making. This one I yeah. thought you couldn't get any more nothingness. Yeah. Nothing. Hay bells. Nothing. Nothing. We got the occasional, we got what, sign. The occasional sign for wall drug. I really wouldn't want to get stuck out here. It's beautiful out here. It's gorgeous country. Yeah, we have different opinions on what's beautiful. I was mistaken. We now have black dots of cows. <laughs> the only living things out here, apparently. As we approach Mount Rushmore, the whole entire area has so much neclectic, kind of quirky tourist dinosaur attractions that museum. look so much fun. Look dinosaur thing. Rushmore Candy Company. <gasps> Ooh. I think we need to make a stop. My sugar tooth is calling me. Hey, it's the old McDonald's farm. The best show around. Animal show around. <laughs> Christmas village. Open year round. Hey, there we go. I'm down for a good Christmas village. Actually, it says closed on the oh, door. Yeah. yeah. Now, this is my idea of beautiful. I like the mountains. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. We've made it to Mount Rushmore, yes. and it's snowing on and off, so it's quite cold up here. Yeah, it's, uh, we got out of the truck, uh, temperature was 29, and wind chill was, I think it was 20 or 19, so it's cold. But it's beautiful up here. Yeah, we saw gorgeous. some deer along the way, and I love just kind of like, wasn't really sure what I was expecting as far as entering like the touristy town area. This is cool. I don't know what I expected down here. Like, I really didn't want to do it. But it was really cute, all the shops and that. It's kind of a bummer that everything's not really open yet, but we'll have to come up here with the kids sometime and really experience it during warmer weather. Yeah. But what I really like right now actually is because I can imagine during the summer, it's just packed, packed. So it's actually very quiet here and I kind of almost feel weird talking yeah. to, to a camera. Um, but uh yeah it's just it's actually very very peaceful because it's not so busy yeah very uh very reverent right now <laughs> very solemn so we might not actually talk too much as we get closer to the mountain just to not really disturb anyone and yeah. kind of like the tranquility of it all right now yeah, yeah. all right we're gonna take you guys on down the very first thing that you will come across is a bust statue of Gutson Bolgum. He was the man that designed Mount Rushmore, and his son, Linkola Bolgum, sculpted this bust statue for his father. Past that, you will walk along the path lined with the state flags from all 50 states, with the mountain front and center at the end.
Well, after a long journey, right about now, we were getting pretty hungry. So we decided to get something to eat here and see if it was any good or if it's just your typical tourist attraction fare. Huh. Oh, look at the fireplace over there. This is actually nicer than what I thought it would be in here. I thought it was gonna be like your traditional like So we were gonna eat out of the truck. Yeah, so, so we had a cooler in the back when we were gonna eat cold food, but it's quite cool. And I wanted something a little bit warm and hearty. So I got their bison chili and you got- Bison burger. Bison burger. Bison bacon cheese. And all of it's local too. Yeah. Uh, We're good. Yeah, it has just a little bit of spice to it. But man, does that warm the soul right now. That's some fresh produce there. Yeah, yeah. So that looks good. Um, this, I think both of them were labeled. Everything that's in them um, it's all. comes with, is sourced within 500 miles of the park. That's nice. All right, moment of truth. Mm. The good burger, better mm. than like a theme park burger. I've had a lot of different bison burgers. That's really good. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's, I feel like that's kind of surprising. Perfect, medium rare. I feel like that's kind of surprising in a way with it being kind of just like a, you know, a park place. I mean, usually, I mean, obviously they got burgers and stuff like that uh, up there, but like. You kind of expect like the generic standard. So, that's, yeah, I mean, yeah. Order number 75. Mm. 75. It's a really good burger. It gets a five out of five for me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, we're gonna fill our bellies and then we'll go walk around the park more. In case you are wondering how long exactly it took to build Mount Rushmore, it took 14 years. It started being built in October 4th, 1927, finishing October 31st, 1941. This next little clip is quite humorous, so it's listen in closely. To discover the reason for our large power loss suffered at Rushmore every Monday morning. Well, I, f well, I found, says Spots, that just about every woman in Keystone washed clothes on Monday, and a lot of them had electric washing machines. <laughs> That's so funny. Instead of trying to rearrange Keystone's laundry schedule, Spots asked the Mount Rushmore Commission to buy a gas line powered auxiliary compressor. And after that, according to Spots, we, we had no more power problems. These improvements increased the minimum number of jackhammers that could be operated from 16 to 22. It's a lot of noise in the background here. Oh, <laughs> Black Hills Power Light completed a power line to Rushmore in 1939. This provided all the electricity needed for the remaining two years of the covering work. Today, the compressor and sections of pipe still in place on Mount Rushmore stand as testimony to the power it took carve a mountain. So that is one of the original compressors.
Along the route, you will find these plaques which give the history and the lives of the four presidents that are represented on the mountain. There you go. This is as close as you can get. Yeah. I'm way out of shape, you guys. You can make fun of me. We haven't even completed half a mile and I'm hopping, I'm hopping. <laughs> what do you expect? You guys have seen all the delicious food we've been eating? Mm -hmm. My word. Note to self, if you want a less challenging route visiting Mount Rushmore, go left when you enter. Yeah. Because you don't have to, you go down all the stairs instead of up yep. all the stairs. Yeah, we decided to take a little bit of the challenge, apparently. Yeah, so when you come up the left side, it's a path that you walk. And I mean, it, there's a grade to it, but it's not, not nearly as bad as the 250 stairs that you take going right. up. Yeah, if you were to if take you were a ride. Right, because right, that, that's if you go towards the uh, sculpture house. Yeah. Good, Good morning. morning. It is the next day, actually, right now from visiting Mount Rushmore. And man, how beautiful was that? Oh, it was great. That was amazing. Absolutely wonderful. I mean, even though there's not like a ton, a ton to do, I mean, it, just the views itself and admiring how long and what it took to build that monument. Yeah. I'm just, I'm mind blown for that time period. Yeah, it was great. Like, again, that's, I think I said it earlier in the video, that was one of the most surreal moments I've ever had. And don't overlook the winter season. Yeah. I know it's cold, but also like we, we got to experience Mount Rushmore when it was snowing. Yeah. Like that's beautiful. I I can't say like too many people actually get to experience that because peak season's during like the summer and tails in in the fall. Yeah. So I really loved it. Yeah, it was wonderful, it really was. But we are headed to our next destination and I'll throw in a little sneak peek right now. Speak with clarity. So I hope you stick around and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you've enjoyed this video, uh, like hit that like button for us. Hit and the bell too, that way you get Yeah, notified. you get notified on when our new video will be uploaded. And as always, you guys, an ordinary life is truly extraordinary. We'll catch you guys on our next adventure. Will you stay with me now?